can, can you tell me what happened uh, prior, prior to 1984? It started hmm, with brother this century. Yeah. Uh, onset of the disease it was brother this century. People were terrible. They had a terrible diarrhea. Huh? They had a terrible diarrhea. Almost after a month, they could lose. Eh? They lose the weight yeah. and become very thin, very anemic. Yes. So people started calling it. They never knew the disease. They called it slim. Yeah. Uh, because they saw people slimming yeah. and they called it slim. For us, when we saw the first uh, patient, we feared and decided the area, uh, the, uh, most of the people yeah. were affected in the area. Right. Uh, we were affected. We decided also to run away from the area because we feared. Yeah. Uh, we came to a place called Masaka, Masaka Town. Yeah. Uh, where we decided to start up another clinic. Mm. Mm. In that clinic, we are so worried. I decided to buy a microscope. I said that I have to find out what is this. Yeah. Every, everyone feared to go to the border because yeah. of the disease. Many lab assistants, doctors, they were fearing to go there. And I in the meantime, you had, you had this microscope uh, that you, you bought. Uh, I bought it. from Germany. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then I started examining specimens. I started from blood. Yeah. Um, from blood of those who were infected. I do not find anything except in my area. Mm. I guess I examined urine and two specimens. I examined a lot of them, but at first I did not find out. They came to patients. Both had it. Bratted decent. I collected, I collected their specimens to check them. Yeah. At first, I did not find anything. I, I examined Kenya's stool. Yeah. I found something there which I had never seen. There were microorganisms, a lot of them. back to hospital and I took that specimen. Yeah. I asked them what type of those microbes. Yeah. They told me that they were the they called them trichomonas homes. Trichomonas homes. Yeah. Hey. I came back, I looked for in my books, I got treatment for those. We're, we're using these same, these same yeah, books. I was using this, these books. Which one I looked? You know, those trichomonas were microorganisms of amoeba. They were of amoeba group. Mm. Yeah, they, they, they were amoeba, amoeba, amoeba yeah. of amoeba group. I tried to read and read. I collected I a lot of information. Then, after a week, Kenya recovered. Yeah. Hey, recovered. With the trade, because of the trade. Hey, with the cost of, hey, and my, uh, with the cost, with one cost, cost of drug. Well, then after the after two weeks. It repeated, the infection repeated. Again, I gave the drugs. Yeah. They were 
got to what? A second cause. But he kept on treatment, on treatment, on treatment mm. uh, for long. Then after about six months, after discovering the treatment of Kenya, the other man, Jimba, who had the same infection, came back. When he came back, the, the condition had gone worse, slimming, hmm? having all signs of an aged person. Yeah. Hey. And after, I think, after one year, he died. Oh. Hey. But in Kenya, he kept on treatment and is still now alive up to now. Yeah. Now, from that time, I started to treat him. From those two samples, I started examining yeah. urine, stool, urine. In urines, I could find the, 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 the corrective vaginalis, trichomonas vaginalis. Then, a lot of yeast cells. A lot of East cells, East Tucumanus vaginalis, East cells, and uh, I think, and epithelial cells. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, many of its patients started to come to our clinic. I used that method to treat them. Almost everyone who came. When I examined with the spikes, yeah. possessed uh, to come as homeless in this too. Everything special. When I examined the blood, sometimes I found malaria, others had no malaria, but they complained of persistent fever. They had a complaint of persistent fever, diarrhea. Yeah. I started treat, treating them. Many of them responded, responded, yeah. uh, but others did not, because they, got, they couldn't keep on treatment. Would you, would you say that that was an epidemic? Hmm? Would you say that that was an epidemic of uh, ame amoebiasis? Uh, that was an, ame uh, an epidemic. Uh, and many people died, almost to find their home. Huh? Yeah. All of the people in the poor yeah. died. But of those who came to see you and you diagnosed and treated? Some died and others did not. Others could not want to hear. They were scared and died. The others took a lot of medicine. Yeah. Uh, that was the problem. But they, they took a lot of medicine. But for me, I tried and tried. I discovered that here in Uganda, it was the cause, the main cause of AIDS. Yeah. And this then, was in uh, 1984 still? 1984. Yeah. 85 and 86. Yeah. It was an epidemic. And what was the cause? In your mind, at the time, the cause were those two common as What have there been other epidemics? Mm? Have there been? Have there previously been other ec epidemics? No. This was the first time. Yeah. It was an infection which came. Yeah. <laughs> which came, but it was there first. It was there. Yeah. But here it became an epidemic, I think. Mm. Mm. And, and the, because now, 26 years later, mm. uh, we're still having people who are di being diagnosed as AIDS patients. Mm. Mm. Would you say that there's still an epidemic of uh, amoebiasis um, causing um, the same, the uh, same symptoms in AIDS patients today? <laughs> Mm. 
for that I have uh, it's not clear to me. So uh, yeah. would, would you say that the symptoms of of uh, patients diagnosed with AIDS today are, are similar? The, uh, to, the, to the ones that you uh, observe? The symptoms are very similar. Uh, uh, very similar. Patients. Yeah. Uh, and and what are those symptoms suggestive of? The symptoms. Because there there are uh, the they're common symptoms for many diseases, mm. different kinds of diseases. Uh, there is uh, we can get the same symptoms from. Someone can get typhoid. You find someone with typhoid for fever. Yeah. They, they can also call the same symptoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Typhoid, malaria, tuberculosis. Yeah. But for me, I understand. I, I, I discovered that when, when a patient came to the third stage of ambiasis, mm -hmm which we call the third stage, people started coughing because the lungs were affected. Mm -hmm. yeah. They started coughing, lungs were affected. Others, they, they made the body resistance very low. Yeah. Yeah. They made the, the, the low resistance of the body, so many diseases took action. But when we try to take treatment of my uh, treatment of malaria yeah. alone, we try to take treatment of malaria or typhoid alone with the treatment of antimedicide mm -hmm. uh, therapy. Yeah. Uh, the people were cured. Yeah. Mm. And, and I think our clinic was the one which tried to treat its patients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And supposedly your your clinic was the only one where where medical staff were were having any success. The medical staff. Many yeah, yeah staff at that at your clinic were mm -hmm. The only ones having success in, in treating patients and seeing them recovering. No, you know, for this, there's other, other staffs, but they could not treat because they couldn't understand this. I was the only one who could help. You were the only one in this clinic? Yeah, only one. Others could not understand it. They saw it, I tried to show it to them, but they, they couldn't understand. I only told them the treatment, yeah. uh, that you treat this one, this and this. So, so what did they understand? Hmm? What did they understand hmm. for, the, for themselves? For themselves? Yeah. For themselves, uh, they had a belief that it's a uh, virus. Okay. Uh, because it was all over Uganda, they said that this is a virus. What, what was it that managed to convince them that it was a viral epidemic? Hmm? Viral. Uh, instead of uh, bacterial. Hmm. Viral uh, epidemic. What, what convinced them that it was a viral epidemic? They, uh, they had the other people say, other researchers. Other researchers mm. from Uganda? No, they came from outside. From Europe? Mm. I think they came from Europe. Others from Uganda, but most who came outside, from outside. Mm. And did you are, did you have any conversations with those? No, for uh, me, Europeans? I never had. 
You never saw them even? Uh, I saw them, yeah. but I never, uh, I never had conversation with them because I couldn't convince them that I have uh, seen this. They knew, they had their ideas. Yeah. I couldn't convince them. Yeah. And as far as you know, yeah. did any of these European researchers uh, discover that you were having successes in treating many of these patients? No, no. Except in our way, we have got groups, TASO groups. Ta we have got TASO in Uganda. Mm. But almost every year, people are still dying in the same way. Yeah. Mm. People have taken visa of this. They can become, they can stay there for some time. But after they die, yeah. it's me. Yeah, if they. But people who are not taking those drugs, so they are more safer. You, you think that AIDS patients today mm. are better off not taking ARVs? You've seen in your in your profession. You've seen the consequences of both people taking ARVs and other people not taking them. Not taking. But I think we tried. Uh, I got one patient who was chronically ill. Was chronically ill. Came to us, we started. We gave some antibiotics of what we saw and started giving nutritive foods. Yeah. She regained. Regained. We make that food, chitovero, we call it chitovero in Uganda. Yeah. Chitovero, it's a mixture of food. We mix uh, meat, mm, beans, meat, a mixture of yeah. foods. Uh, then you cook it in a different uh, a good, a good way. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, I should really get it. So. Uh, that will, Woman was called in Narintia. We gave the, the, the treatment for amoeba and then we received foods. Yeah. Uh, she came back to life. Did I had a small ch baby. With the baby, they gave it to me. I think there were th seven months. Yeah. Uh, Treated him with foods at Marevio. They had already detected her as an, uh, an AIDS patient mm -hmm. mm. was it a baby. Yeah. yeah. But I treated him. Now he's a big boy. Yeah. Hey. A life big boy. And mm. uh, no longer in need of. No longer in need of treatment. No. He's, he's fine. Uh, fine. Yeah. Mm. I shall try to to look for the for his pictures. Yeah. Uh, a lot. I can tell you have treated a lot of them. And if I get some support, for me, I had no support. Hmm? I need I needed money. To cut, to, to cut out more research, mm -hmm. but we had no money. No. Uh, did you ever apply for, for funding anywhere? No funding. You, you never asked? Uh, I wish I had funding. Should have been okay now. Mm. But you could not tell the people that you are suffering this, you are suffering from this. If you tell them, they can, uh, their minds change. Uh, we, we treated them indirectly. Uh, 
in the leg clay. Once an AIDS patient came to me and saw that it said I corrected specimens yeah. and checked. When I found that it's AIDS, yeah. I, I tried to treat him without annals, but I, I told them that you keep on treatment. That's all. What was the treatment? I treated them in the lecture. I had correction of treatment. We had to treat malaria, and everything. Yeah. Find in the human body. So you, you found correction of treatment along with that an upside correction of treatment. Yeah. So you, you treat, did you treat the, the specific diseases mm. accordingly mm. without without diagnosing them uh, as having AIDS? Mm. And, and most of, did most of them recover? They recovered. Yeah. They are there in the villages. They are, when I go visit them, they are, they, they are very happy to see me. Uh, yes. Mm. But they never know. They think that, ah, it was not... Why did that? Why did I get short? Uh -huh. They ask me. They think it was not AIDS. Yeah. Of all the people who mm. got sick and mm. presented with the same symptoms, mm. uh, starting from beginning in 1984 up to 1994, mm. when you left, mm. was there a pattern of uh, conditions of poverty and malnutrition? among those patients? Yeah. In a way, that is the one cause, eh? another cause, which made people die. People, they were poor. And when they fell sick, they, can, they can't work. They were, they were not able to work yeah. for their family. We would to work for medicine mm. eh, to get medicine. So poverty is another cause. A major factor. Eh, eh, would you say it's eh, a major factor? Eh, poverty. Then we have got uh, most people lacked health education. And you know, I found out there was a lot of infections where in places we are found sanitation is poor. Mm. There were a lot of infected people. Yeah. Mm. So they lacked, in, I think, health education. Do you, do you think that those same conditions of poverty are there now? Mm -hmm. They are still there. They are still there mm. after 25 years. They are still there because, and it's especially in Uganda. Now, you can see, for us, that, that is a, an example of ourselves. We, we are still standing. We are still there with my family. Yeah. Huh? But we are poor. But the only thing which has helped us can have health education. Yeah. yeah. The only but we are poor. We have no money, no good feeding, but you are trying to so see that all oh, this time get bad start. Mm. Let's check ourselves for this. What's your opinion of of uh, AIDS researchers and activists uh, and doctors um, ignoring the conditions of poverty that still prevail 
and insisting that AIDS is the main cause of death for Ugandans. AIDS. I think it's not the main cause. Poverty and uh, health education. Mm. Health education. Mm. Other countries, they can be helped. They can get free education, free food, free medicine. But here in Uganda, we don't have it. Yeah. We can't get free medicine. No. We have no help. Even children can't go to school. Without paying a lot of money. Yeah. They like education. No long ago, long ago, people were more, more educated than today. Like, like how long ago? Mm. How many years ago? I mean, about, I mm, think from 50s, 60s, 70s. Mm. Yeah. And people did not die because they died today. Mm -hmm. Another thing, patients take drugs, a lot of drugs. When someone knows that he is infected, he takes a lot of drugs. For which, which disease? I know. In general? Yeah. No. I have got fever. Yeah. I can borrow medicines for fever. Hmm? Are you saying that they take people are taking too many drugs? Mm. Um, they're not looking after their health. Yeah, they get uh, they get drug toxicity. Yeah. Mm. And uh, resistance. Mm. Resistance of the body. Lower, it lowers the resistance. Yeah. Okay, okay. And a, I think, is there a big problem of drug resistance for malaria and TB? Mm. Malaria, tuberculosis. Uh, I, have, I have tried to treat some patients for tuberculosis, but they have also recovered well. But those were eight patients. And what, what, how, do you dis, how do you describe AIDS? Hmm? How do you describe AIDS? Hmm. For me, I can say that AIDS is a collection of diseases. Uh, a, gen, a general term. Hmm. But for most people, hmm. they associate AIDS hmm. with, with a virus. It's with the virus. Mm. Mm. Only. But uh, in, in our, one of our conversations, you, you but insisted for that me, the, the virus is not responsible. Uh, for me, I said that the virus is not responsible. I can see that it's not responsible. I don't know how it is. No, well, not, but according to the symptoms. Mm. No. The virus is not yeah. responsible. I have heard many facts about the blood. We had a maternity. I have delivered many children. I have delivered even infected mothers mm. but infected mothers never bear infected kids children mm. Mm.